Hi everyone, and thank you so much for joining us for Tuesday's Tip. My name is Julie Johnson, and these tips are brought to you by Vine Images. Welcome to tip number 65. This week, we're gonna be jumping into Photoshop, and I'm gonna teach you how to create a textured overlay on your images, just to give an image a totally different look. I'm gonna teach you how to add snow to an outdoor image. So stay tuned guys, and we will see you in Photoshop. Okay, so this is the first image we're gonna work on, and we're gonna add snow to it, just to give it a totally different look. This image as well, we're gonna add a snow effect to it. This was a winter wedding we just did a couple weeks ago. And then I'm gonna teach you how to add a textured overlay to any of your images. So I'm gonna teach you how to do this. So we have the first image open here in Photoshop. So what I did was I Googled uh, free snow overlays. And, uh, and I found this website, florabellacollection.com, and I was able to download about six snow textured overlays. And uh, so this is the, the first one we're going to work on. So what you want to do is want to grab the overlay, slide it on top of your image, free transform the overlay so it goes right over top. And then we're going to go to our layers palette. And, um, and we're going to, here, we're just going to set this here. Apply the transformation. Okay, so now we're going to go to our layers plot, go to uh, blending options, and hit uh, overlay. Okay, so now we've hit it. It's a really contrasty just with the overlay they like that. So you want to take down your opacity of the overlay to, you know, your desired look that you want. So usually they recommend about 10%, but if you want to see more of the snow, create more of a contrast, then you can just change the opacity depending on the look that you like. Okay, so this image here, um, we're gonna go and we're gonna grab the Flora Bella Snow and we're gonna click it on top, free transform it. Okay, apply the transformation. Okay, and then again, we're going to go to our layers, blending options, and then overlay. And we're just going to change the opacity down to about, this is at about 22%. And, you know, you can, again, change your opacity to play with the different looks, but we probably recommend staying under at least 30%. Okay. So now we're going to go to the perfume bottle. So here we have the image and uh, I'm just going to show you the different overlays. If you Google um, free textured overlays, um, I have a bunch of them that I've collected and I have them in a folder. And um, so there's all different overlays that you can put over any image. So these are just a few of the ones that I have. And uh, so we're just going to pick one here that we're gonna use with this perfume bottle. So this one's pretty cool, so we're gonna try that. Okay, so here's the textured overlay. You can even go and photograph any texture that you want and create your own overlays. Um, it's a lot of fun to do, like old barn board or you know, this, is, this looks like a beat up concrete floor kind of thing. And um, so you apply it. Go to your layers, blending options, and then we're going to go to overlay, hit OK, and look at that, like super cool, and it gives it a totally different look in a matter of seconds. So have fun with these guys. We're just going to open up another um, textured overlay because I just want to show you how you can erase two around it. So we're going to do this one which looks almost like a plaster and um, we're going to put this one over top again free transform it to the size of your image okay and then again go to our layers blending options and then overlay okay so now say i don't want the texture over top of the the porcelain or whatever the the perfume is sitting on I can take my eraser tool and um, 
So I'm going to grab the eraser and we're going to make our brush to a pretty big size. And I can erase where I do not want the textured overlay. So you can play with that as well. So I'm going to I'm going to erase the texture. We're doing this fast. Remember guys, if you were to do this quickly, you'd want to take a little bit more time. And then we're just going to erase over the uh, perfume bottle. So there you have it. Totally different look of a, of a background. Okay. On behalf of Vine Images, I just want to thank you so much for joining us for Tuesday's Tip. If you haven't joined our Facebook page yet, please do. We're at facebook.com forward slash Vine Images Inc. It'll just keep you up to date if Tuesday's tips are going to be late. Um, and you can send in your request there. So I just want to thank you so much, guys, and have a wonderful two weeks. We'll see you soon. Bye.